You were just about the calmest man in Derby on Tuesday night when you put that penalty away. Big moment and big win for you. Yeah, massive win. Um, delighted for it to go in first and foremost. Help the team get the three points. That's the main thing now. Um, going into these last games, uh, you know, done my homework I suppose on penalties with James being out. Colo, um, I knew that I was going to be taking it. So um, pre-game you do your homework and uh, luckily enough for me it paid off really. You were stood with the ball for a while. You had to wait a long time. What's going through your head? Uh, just the, the plan that I'd done before, not to change. You know, you've, you've got time there now to change your mind, change your routine, change your thoughts. It was literally, I've planned this. I know where I'm going to go, stay the same. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, like you said, kept a bit of a calm head and an important time and uh, delighted for it to go in, really. Not too long ago that the side lost back-to-back -back league games for the first time all season. You've responded with three wins in a row. What does that say about the character you've got in that room? Yeah, massive. It's, it's been huge. Um, obviously, we had a couple of disappointing results back-to-back, uh, -back, like you said, and we were really disappointed and we really wanted to bounce back and show a bit of character. And uh, uh, we have done that and we played really well in, in, in the main as well in, in the victories that we haven't kind of just crept over the line. I think, you know, Bristol Rovers was a really good performance. The other night, I think first half we were really good. Lost our way a little bit in the second half, but still got over the line, which is important. So I think uh, not just showing character, I think we've come back and, and played some good stuff as well, which is, which is good for confidence, of course. I've spoken to a lot of the guys recently about the amount of experience you have in that room in terms of previous promotions. And you've got a couple on your CV as well. Are you taking anything from the success you had at Villa, the success you had at Barnsley from League One. Are you trying to bring that into this season? Um, yeah, a little, a little bit, I suppose. I think you've become more familiar now with maybe this time of the season. I think um, start of the season, middle of the season, you kind of just roll with it and you try and help the lads. And being captain, you might, you know, if someone's looking a bit off or down or lacking confidence, you have a word with them or put an arm around them. But I think now it's more, you know, uh, the experienced lads are more familiar with this situation, uh, the running. Um, so you try and help the, the younger lads along uh, a little bit as well. But, you know, you look at kind of Cash and O'Bordy's out at the minutes and, and Sibs who are, they're all playing really, really well. Um, so it doesn't seem to be phasing them at all. And to add that experience, then on top of it, it's, uh, we're heading in the right direction, which is good at a key time. I was looking back at the, the Barnsley promotion that you had. Um, I think you clinched a playoff place on the final day. Then you yeah. went up through the playoffs and we all know what you know, a trial that, that can be. How much does, does it help you that you've been through it before? Yes, it's, it's massive, of course. I've uh, had a couple of promotions, like you said, and they've been through the playoffs, so I'd love a, a top two one this, this, this time. But um, yeah, it, that Barnsley one was a freak one. Kind of, we were, you know, bottom four, I think, in November or something ridiculous. And then we went on a crazy run, nicked in the last day, like you said, and, and ended up winning it. So um, that was a bit, a bit of a freak one. But you look at them experiences, you know, consistent performances, um, you know, taking care of business every single day, giving yourself the best chance to perform at a weekend. And like you said, confidence is massive in this game. It just snowballs uh, from game to game and suddenly you go out and you think we're just going to win today. Um, so, you know, off the back of a couple of good results at the minute now, we feel in a good place heading into an important game, no doubt, at the weekend. Yeah, you won Tuesday night. The rest of the top five won in the week as well. Um, we talk about what this team is going through. But I guess there's four other teams going through exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, for sure, without a doubt. I think we're all looking at each other now. Um, after every game, what are the results? Do they go our way? I think when we lost a couple, um, especially the Barnsley won that hurt because obviously they're creeping back up on us. You know, last night Peterborough obviously won as well because they would have been looking at us Tuesday and then we were looking at them last night. So it's just it's just the, the way it goes. Um, and it's, look, it's literally who's going to, you know, I, I still feel like Portsmouth are not too far away. They're in touching distance and I do feel like um, whoever handles the best out of the next eight to nine games or whatever it is, whatever people have left, I know a couple of people have got games at hand or whatever, uh, will get over the line really. You still have Portsmouth to play of course and you still have Bolton this weekend. Everybody is going to look at this game and think it's massive. Do you look at it in those terms or do you look at it as one of eight still to come? Uh, I think you look at it in, a, in, a, in, in one of eight but then on, on the side you know it's a big game, you can't get away from it. Um, you know, I think Peterborough play Portsmouth as well at, on, on Saturday, so um, it's going to be a big kind of weekend for the kind of top four or five teams, whatever it is. So um, we know it's a big game. We know, um, you know, if we can you know, get the result that we all want, um, it's going to give us a real good platform heading into the last kind of seven games. So, um, you know, everyone's looking forward to it. We're back in today, do our 
research our recoveries, our training well and, and give ourselves the best chance come the weekend really. And I know we've talked a lot about the support this season, particularly away from home and how fantastic it's been, but over 31,000 expected for a League One fixture, that is incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, and you know, we need them Saturday more than ever. Lo uh, you know, we need them loud and proud at the weekend, that 12th man push. You know, there's going to be times in the game where we suffer and, and we need them to, you know, to get us through them little, little patches if we're on top to, to make it daunting for the opposition. Um, you know, the lads speaking in the dressing room in Proy Park is absolutely bouncing, you know, how much of an effect it, it, it gives the lads and, you know, we might be short on energy at certain times in the game and their energy and enthusiasm and, and the atmosphere they'll create will give us that extra yard. Um, you know, so it's going to be huge. I, I think back to kind of my first game at Derby with, with, against Oxford, that kind of first game, that atmosphere was kind of pr pretty electric, something probably not, I know it was huge after the takeover and all that, which added a little bit of extra spice. Um, but we need that at the weekend for sure to, to help the lads, you know, your flags, your scarves, your atmosphere, get into the ground early and really create that big, big atmosphere that we all need.